Hi everyone, this is Kat. Thanks so much for coming back to my channel. Just wanted to start by wishing all of you a very happy new year. I hope that the last few weeks have been treating you well and that you feel like you are getting this new year started off on a good foot. Originally, I had thought about maybe talking about not necessarily New Year's resolution, but an approach to the new year. Um, but I figured probably most of you have done uh or listened or read um, quite a bit about that so far. So as kind of a jump off from that, I thought I would talk today a little bit about boundaries um, and also share with you a meditation that I find helpful um, when you're trying to reinforce boundaries or at least try to um, have a little bit of control <laughs> um, in terms of how you are entering the world and kind of trying to shield yourself from anything that you maybe don't want to take on. Um, now, the idea for this came up because um, as I was doing a New Year's program, um, one of the themes that did come up was talking about how boundaries are important whenever we want to make change. Now, I know not everybody goes into the New Year thinking about you know, what they want to change or what they want to do differently, but if you are someone who has made some resolutions or at least has thought about how you maybe want to either do some things differently or how you want to feel differently during the new year. Um, an important piece of that might be thinking about how you are going to interact when you're out in the world. Because um, as someone who I previously worked with folks that were in recovery from substance abuse, and I know that for them, when they were trying to change some of their habits and change the way that they were uh, living their lives, sometimes one of the things that would create challenges for them was uh, being around friends and family that they used to spend time around when they were actively using. Because sometimes going back into that environment or being challenged by people who maybe want you to join in <laughs> with what they're doing um, can make it really hard to stick to your new habits and your new goals. So while there's a lot of ways to approach that, um, one thing that can be helpful is thinking about what kind of boundaries you're going to have with people or situations too in your life that may um, cause you to rely on some either negative coping skills or, you know, other kinds of actions um, that you may take that maybe you just don't want to be doing anymore because you've changed or you have the intention of living life in a different way. But it's always good to go in with some sort of a plan. And one thing that can be really helpful is this idea of kind of energetically shielding yourself. And that can be done um, often first thing in the morning is a good time to start before you've really started to interact with the rest of the world. Um, and there's different ways of doing this, but I just wanted to share with you all a meditation that I learned when I was in my yoga teacher training um, that you could use in the morning before you head off to work, school, to run errands, whatever you're going to be doing that day to just kind of help bolster you <laughs> before you get out into the world. And then, like I said, beyond that, you probably need a plan of what you may say to people or what your response is going to be if you run into a situation that might cause you to want to revert to some old habits or old behaviors um, or even dynamics in a relationship that aren't healthy, um, such as things you might say or even an exit plan if you end up in that situation. But I find that starting off the day on the right foot with, like I said, some energetic shielding or um, some kind of meditation can just be really helpful for setting your intention for that day um, and give you maybe a moment just to reflect on what you may do if you do run into a difficult or challenging situation. So what I'm going to do um, during the meditation is that I'm going to invite you to either close your eyes or adopt a soft gaze. As I've said before, sometimes if you, um, especially are experiencing any anxiety or trauma reactivity, you may not want to close down your eyes because that can actually um, be triggering um, for people that are not feeling completely safe in their own skin. Um, so like I said, in that case, you can just choose to adopt a soft gaze. I'm not going to close my eyes because I'm going to read a script um, for part of the meditation. Um, so if you happen to, to look up and notice that my eyes are open, um, I just want to explain that so it's not confusing. But like I said, um, if you're ready to begin, go ahead and either close your eyes all the way or adopt a soft, maybe downward gaze. You can pick a point on the floor or another fun way to do this is if you have like a little candle or a light that you want to put down on the floor in front of you um, to focus on while you meditate, that can be really helpful too. And then once you've closed your eyes or adopted the soft gaze, 
just start taking some deep breaths. Maybe in through your nose and then gently out through your mouth. Maybe even sighing a little bit on your out breath as that um, is a cue to your nervous system to relax. So for example, you can inhale through your nose and then sigh it out. <sighs> and just starting to relax your muscles and sink into your hip bones beneath you as you begin to start to let go of any tension and body. And begin to focus the mind in on that breathing, maybe focusing on your inhale and your exhale, noticing the rise and the fall of the chest and the belly as you're breathing in and out. And once you're starting to feel a little bit more grounded, you can start to lengthen your breath, maybe even counting it out, maybe extending it, your in-breath to a count of four, five, or six, and then extending the exhale as well. So maybe breathing in for four, and breathing out for four. And as you're doing this, you can bring some awareness to the parts of your body that are touching the ground or the chair underneath you. You can feel the heaviness of your body grounding you down into the mat, the floor, or the chair underneath you. Almost imagining that your hips, legs, and feet are so heavy that that part of your body is starting to sink down into the ground underneath you. As you continue to feel the heaviness of your lower body, start to notice a sense of light and warmth traveling from the base of your spine all the way into the crown of your head. And this might appear to you like a string or strand of white or golden light. Or even if you're not able to visualize it, maybe just imagine the feeling of having a string along your back that may be pulled from the top of the string as if it were connected to the crown of your head, just hoping to lift you up towards the ceiling or the sky above you. And as you're gently straightening your spine, you can continue to imagine either visually or feel that beam or string of light running all the way from your tailbone to the crown of your head. And like I said, perhaps you imagine the light in a color such as yellow or white, and maybe you even begin to feel, feel the warmth of the light in your body running through that central channel. And now start to bring your focus to your chest, your heart center, and imagine that beam of light kind of coming together at that center point of your chest, illuminating your heart, and then starting to have that sense of warmth and light spreading out from your heart and from that central channel of your body and starting to extend through the rest of your body, maybe up to your shoulders and then down your arms. And then from the tailbone area, down the legs and into the feet. Imagining the light and the warmth gently starting to fill your entire body as it emanates out from that heart space. And 
And once you feel your entire body filled with warmth and light, start to play with maybe extending that light beyond the bounds of your physical body. So maybe you start to feel the warmth and the light spreading around you and moving outwards, almost like it was forming a big golden or yellow or white bubble around you with you at the center. And you begin to imagine this warmth and light as a protective shield surrounding your body and something that can move with you even beyond this meditation so that as you move through your day, you continue to be surrounded by this invisible bubble that will just offer a little protection from the world around you so that you can continue to feel light, buoyant, and filled with the warmth of your spirit and filled with the warmth of your intentions for your day ahead. So that if you encounter any challenges, whether it be people or situations, you can use this light and this protective bubble around you to keep yourself at a little bit of a distance from these challenges. And also give you the space and the opportunity to think about your next steps rather than succumbing to whatever the temptation is at the moment or being triggered by the upset that may be brought on by that person or situation. And you can continue to sit here for as long as you like, being bathed in this beautiful light as you continue your deep, slow breathing. And at whatever point that you're ready, you can gently start to flutter your eyes open or lift them up from wherever you're gazing on the ground. And then just take a moment to settle back into the world around you, remembering that you continue to be surrounded by that bubble of light that can move with you throughout your day. Thank you so much for doing this meditation with me. I hope it's helpful and I hope that if you practice it, you can share with me your experiences, especially once you take your bubble out into the world. Please feel free to like this video. And like I said, if you have any thoughts or questions, post them below. Otherwise, I hope to see you here again soon. Take care and have a good rest of your day. Bye-bye.